Hey everyone, this time I will show you how to crochet a lover's knot triangle shawl. So we will start with a normal slip knot. For this, make a circle, put the long strand under the circle and pull it through. And you have here a loop, insert your hook into the loop and then tighten the yarn. This creates a slip knot. Now we need to chain stitches for this yarn over and pull through. This is the first chain stitch, yarn over and pull through. So you have two chain, st chain stitches. Insert your hook into the first chain stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. And this is a single crochet. Okay, for the lover's knot we have to pull up our loop like this and you can decide which length you want to have. So if you pull it up like this, so you will get really big knots. And if you have it like this, you will get small knots. So it depends on what you like. And then we have to chain one, so yarn over and pull through the loop. And then we put the hook or we insert the hook in between here, okay, then yarn over and pull through, we have two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through two, and this was the single crochet. This is the basics, so that's all what you need to know for the lover's knot, so pull up your loop, chain one, and then go through here, and crochet, single crochet. So you have another, another lover's knot. And for our mesh pattern, we will start with four lover knots, like this. So you have a rectangle. So we need four. I have two. We need a third one. and a fourth one. Okay. Now we join them together. Through the first single crochet with a single crochet. Okay, like this. So now we, we are here and now we have to start with three Solomon's knots or lover's knots. So one, two and three and then join here. Okay, so one. and three and then join mm. this was the beginning where you have your short strand and we join here okay And then we need one, two, and three. And then join. So one lover's knot, second, and then the third. And then join here. Okay. 
and this is our mesh so far. Now we are here and we need to go back. So we will have at this point in this area two lovers knot at the same place. So you make one knot. And then you go back and join here. And then you start again by doing three, whoops, by doing three knots. Then join at this point. And now we have this part. And for the middle part, we need only two one and two. And then again, one, two, and three. Okay, so for the middle part, only two. One. And two. Slip the next knot and join into the second. Then again, one, two, and three. This is the end of the row, so we need always at the beginning and at the end three knots, and in between always two. Then we join in the next. Don't forget to make one knot at the end of the row. And then go backwards into the next. Oops. Okay. So now we are here and we made our extra knot. And if you continue, you have here again one and two and three, then two in between, two in between, and one, two, and three here. And you continue doing this and your shawl will be bigger and bigger and bigger. And um, if you want to finish your work, then you will start with two knots, one and then two. And in between you will have always one, one. And at the end you will have again two. And these knots should be bigger than all the others in your mesh pattern because this part is longer so if you want to finish your work make sure that they are larger for example like this so i don't, i don't know which size this is it's my personal feeling and this is how I crochet. I don't measure this. And then you join here. The next 
knot then in between you have only one don't forget make it bigger one knot and in between we slip this one and go to the second This one join into the next. Then at the end, one and two. Okay. Then you join to the next knot and here you can join with a slip stitch so you yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook and now you can cut the yarn pull it through this through this last loop and then sew in your ends And that's it. So this was the patterns you see. This small hair yarn is really more beautiful. It has these flower knots. And this one is more to show you that you see it better. Yeah, that's it. So it's quite a simple pattern, very beautiful. And you can do a lot of things. So I hope you have fun and bye bye.